the bell icon to turn on notifications. Hi everyone! Welcome to a new tutorial from Simon Says It. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to add error bars in Excel. But before we begin, let me tell you what error bars actually are. Error bars are a very useful tool to represent the variability in a data set. That is, they display how far the real value can deviate from the measured value. It is a very important tool in statistical analysis and scientific experiments. They can help you visualize the deviation of the data variables from their means in a very intuitive way. In Excel, they can be added to suitable charts like bar, column, line, scatter, and bubble charts. Without further delay, let us see how to add error bars to your charts easily. Once your suitable chart is plotted and ready, click anywhere on the graph and click on the Chart Elements option on the top right corner of the chart. Then click on the Error Bars arrow to expand it and select a suitable option from the drop-down menu. Now you have four options under this. Use the Standard Error option to display the default standard error for all values. Use the Percentage Error option to add percentage error bars to your chart. The default percentage error is 5% and you can change this under the More Options section. Use the Standard Deviation option to show the standard deviation of the data points, that is, how far it is from the average. Use the More Options button to edit the error bar values and to create custom error bars. It will open the Format Error Bars pane where you can set custom values for the fixed, percentage, and standard deviation error bars. You can also choose the direction of the error bars and also format the appearance of the error bars. Now, in this example, I will use the standard error option. You can customize the error bars after adding them by double-clicking any one of them to open the Format Error Bars pane once again. Next, we'll see how to add custom values to error bars. Click on the Chart Elements and on Error Bars and More Options to access the Format Error Bars pane. Here, click on the Error Bars option tab. Under Error Amount, click on Custom and click on Specify Value. In the Custom Error Bars dialog box, enter the positive and negative error values. That's all. You have added custom value error bars to your graph. Next, we will see how to add individual error bars in Excel. Sometimes you may need to add individual error bars of varying lengths to each data point in the series. To do this, first you need to calculate the standard deviation of each data point in the series using the standard deviation function. Keep these standard deviation values ready in an adjacent column like this. Click on Chart Elements, on Error Bars, and on More Options to access the Format Error Bars pane. Here, click on the Error Bars option tab under Error Amount. Click on Custom and on Specify Value. In the Custom Error Bars dialog box, enter the cell reference of the standard deviation values we just calculated. That's all! You have successfully added individual error bars of varying lengths of standard deviation to each data point in a data series. Well, that's all, folks. We have seen all the different options to add error bars in Excel. If you have any questions about this or any other Excel feature, please let us know in the comments section. We are always happy to help. If you need more high-quality Excel guides, please check out our free Excel Resources Center in the description below. Thank you. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full blog article that this video came from, please click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.